I Come From Outer Space by Nancy Sidmore is heavily influenced by community experiences, including the library, the lemonade stand, and yes, there may be aliens. Imagine for a moment that you were dropped off onto Earth and you knew nothing about Earth, but you were on a mission to find out what human beings are all about. Imagine for a moment that you really know nothing about people on Earth or things or technology developed by humans, but you are starting off with a blank slate. Let's say aliens from outer space sent you here and gave you just enough information to get you started. Pretty much any of the information you really need, nothing more, nothing less. They taught you or programmed you to be courteous and kind and to be very patient. Let's say you got dropped off in northern Wisconsin and you found out that you were not just tasked to find out more about human beings, but all living creatures on Earth. You're also tasked to find out what natural resources could be exploited by aliens from outer space. You find out that you are not alone, you are just one of many, many humans created by aliens and dropped on the planet Earth. People seem to be completely unaware of your presence. This story is about that person and his adventures and what he learned about the human race. One day, I found myself sitting at the library when a young lady came up to me and asked me, Where are you from? Well, basically, I come from outer space, I replied. She got angry and said, No, where are you from? With her stern, peering eyes bearing down on me and grimacing frown, I told her, The aliens created me, so essentially I'm from outer space. Not satisfied, she asked me how the aliens created me. Okay, I said. It's quite simple, really. Basically, they use a bread-making machine, one that is quite large. It is just like making bread. They set the timer and other settings, like do you want white bread or dark bread or banana bread? Of course, you have to put in the ingredients. And yeah, they had collected the DNA samples from other people that they had captured and abducted. They created me to investigate the human race. She told me I looked silly with my tinfoil hat and asked why was I wearing it. I laughed and asked her, why do you not have a tinfoil hat? Don't you understand that they can read your mind without one? She smiled down at me and asked, where you live? Nowhere really, I said. Sometimes they come to get me and hook me up to machines. It's very relaxing. I usually go into a deep sleep. Suddenly a large elderly lady quietly appeared and said, listen, I'm the librarian and you are both making way too much noise. This is a library. You must keep your voices low. What's going on? Is this man here bothering you? The young lady said he claims he's from outer space. He's wearing a tinfoil hat. I think he got loose from the loony bin. The librarian asked once again, is this man here bothering you? The young lady replied, not really. I just don't like people lying to me, making up stories. I think he's a creep and he smells kind of like banana bread. The librarian sternly scolded, no food in the library. We can't have you disrupting the public with your craziness. If you cannot be quiet and behave yourself, I'll have to ask you to leave. I looked at the librarian and I said, I can assure you, madam, that I will be very quiet, as quiet as a mouse. I'm sorry to have bothered anyone. A police officer soon arrived and asked the librarian, what's going on here? Is there a disturbance? I got a report of a suspicious individual with a tinfoil hat. He turned his gaze to me and said, Say, that wouldn't be you, would it? He pulled out his police club and hit his palm with it several times and then put it away and replied to himself, No, I think we all know why I'm here, don't we? The young lady tried to make a break for it to the door. The police stopped her and said, In this town, we don't tolerate late library books. I'm sorry, you'll have to come with me. The librarian replied to the officer, We just have a guest from outer space visiting our library. Suddenly, a large man in a waterproof uniform walked up with a loud walkie-talkie. The large man screamed into the walkie-talkie and said, Listen, we are the fire department, not a plumber. I can't believe you called me for a full overflowing toilet. You say it's in the men's room? Oh my God, I'll have it unplugged in no time. The large man turned to the policeman and the librarian. We're investigating the report of a small fire or flood or maybe a medical emergency. We don't know. Our radios are down, but we're told it's here. A very dignified man walked up and said, Is there a problem here, ladies and gentlemen? I'm the mayor. The librarian said, Mr. Mayor, 
let me introduce you to our guest we have here who claims he is from outer space. The young lady piped up. Don't forget to ask him about how he was created by aliens from outer space using a very large bread-making machine. He claims he doesn't have any place to live. <laughs> 